In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this blueprint effect in GIMP. Uh, this is a fairly simple technique, so um, what you want to do is go ahead and open up a new image, and I'm going to get my paint bucket tool and set my foreground color to this kind of dark blue, and the HTML notation is 1762A7, and just fill that in. Now make a new layer, and you can do that by pressing the new layer icon in your layers dialog. Um, and go to and set your foreground and background color back to black and white. Now go to filters, uh, render, pattern, checkerboard. Um, I turned the size up to 25, um, but you might need to make this larger or smaller depending on the size of your image. And then select OK. Now go to filters edge detect, edge, um, and I set my algorithm on gradient, that just gives you a thinner line. You can also set it on Sobel, uh, either one, and amount doesn't really matter for this. Uh, so now go to your layers dialog and under mode, click that drop down menu and select screen. That gets rid of all the um, black in the background. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the render that I found, so I'm going to go to file, open as layers and place my render in there. Um, so as you can tell this is already rendered and there's no background so you need to do that to your object whatever it is a car or house whatever then go to colors desaturate and select OK. Now go to filters edge detect edge. This time I recommend setting the algorithm onto gradients because it'll give you finer lines um, and I just set amount to one and I have smear checked. Then select OK. Now go over to your layers dialog again and set this mode on to screen. And um, there might be a few places in your render that you might want to touch up and erase. I'm pretty satisfied with what mine looks like for now. Um, and if you want, I mean you could just say that you're done at this point, but I'm just going to duplicate my background layer again by pressing the duplicate button in my layers dialog. I'm going to move that all the way up to the top. Then in my layers that in my layers mode options, I'm going to set that layer mode onto multiply, and I'm going to lower the opacity a little to around 55. Um, I'm not sure why that. I feel like that makes it look better. I just feel like it makes it look better somehow. Um, and that's how you can create this very simple uh, blueprint effect.